Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use behaviors in Camtasia 9. Alright, so before I show you how to use behaviors in Camtasia 9, I'm going to show you what a behavior looks like just in case you don't know already. So this is one of our YouTube videos and it's kind of like a vlog video or whatever. Um, it was when we were driving from Vancouver to Portland, Oregon, and I just like sped up the footage and you're going to see like this purple uh, chat box window swing up and I will explain the behavior. So I'll show you what it is first and then I'll explain it. All right, so you saw those two little things, those two little purple chat boxes with the text that said fun facts ready and then they swung in and they swung out and they were, it was kind of like they were animated. Well that's an example of a behavior that can be added to um, some text, that animation, that uh, text animation bubble or your videos. Okay so I'm here in Camtasia 9 right now and a behavior is what it is. It's a behavior that you add to something. So you need to add it to a picture or a video clip or a text in Camtasia 9. You need to add it to something. So I'm going to show you how to use behaviors and how I did that little fun facts thing that popped up in the beginning of the video. So I've got my um, this clip ready here. This is just an example clip and I've got it on the timeline and First, I want to add an annotation because I want the behavior to be added to a text bubble. So the one that I've been using is this. I really like this type of shape. I've been using it a lot in my videos since Camtasia 9 has come out. So let's add that to the timeline. And all I did was just click on it and then drag it down. And then let's change the text. And to change the text, you just double click on it. So, hello! So let's just put that there and then we'll drag it over here so you can see it better. And then let's say we want to change the color of this because we don't like the color of it. So you head over to the top area here, the call out section, and you want to go to annotation and you can see here that that's the color. I actually want that to be black. Alright, so now that we've changed the color on that, so as you can see, when you add in a text annotation text bubble, it's just going to just pop up on the screen and then that's it. So I'll just show it for you. Hello, it's Jewel Tolentino here. Alright, so in this video, I'm going to be doing... So that's what it does normally when there's no behavior added to it. Nothing has been added to it. You need to add a behavior to that. So now we're going to head over to behaviors and you've got a bunch here and this is new to Camtasia 9. They have created this specifically for Camtasia 9. I've, I've been using Camtasia 8 for a while and they never had these kind of stuff. So as you can see, there's all different kinds and you can play around with them. There's drifting, fade, jump and fall, pop up, uh, pulsating, reveal, scale, shifting and sliding. My most favorite to use is the pop-up. I really like the way it looks with the text bubble and I just, I love the, the movement that does. So when you're ready to add the behavior, you just click on it and you drag it down to the, the text bubble here. So I've just now, I've, it says behavior added right there. Now there's a couple of things that you can do. You can just leave it as original and it has its default settings and I'll show you the default settings right now. So I'll just play it for you. Joel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be doing an update so it's like swinging. on some So you saw there, it was swinging quite aggressively. Um, I, sometimes I don't like it to swing back and forth so fast like that. So you can actually control that. So. If you don't like the way the behavior is originally, you can change it. And how you do that is you click on where you put the behavior, so on the text bubble here, and then you go over to the right hand side and you've got some options here. So it's like in 
during and out. So, so you can control what's happening in the beginning, during and out. Now, I usually play around with the during because I like the way that it comes in where it swings in, but you'll notice um, when you render the video later on, it, um, if you have like a lot of text on it and it's swinging really aggressively, it might be hard for the, the, the person watching the video to read the text. So sometimes I don't like it to swing so fast back and forth. So in the during, because that's when it's swinging really crazy, I go over to the rotation and I just lower it down a bit to like 10 or lower, depending on um, how, how much of a swing you want. So when you lower it, it won't be as crazy, and you can make it even crazier if you want. And you can play around with this uh, here. You can choose like the style here. You can change it if you don't like the pop-up. And from here, you can you can choose the, the movement as well. I don't usually touch this, this stuff right here. I usually touch the rotation and the loop time. So every one second, it's going to be doing the, a certain movement. So you can either slow that down or speed it up. Or if you don't want it to move at all, like let's say it's like, this is just an example of the pop-up behavior, but let's say you don't want it to move at all, then you would just set it to zero. So what would happen is basically it would swing in, stay stationary, and then when it's done, swing out. Whereas the normal is to swing in and then it's like continuing to swing back and forth and then it swings out at the end. So you can control all of what's happening there. So I'm just going to put it back to the 10 because I, I prefer that movement, 10 to 12. And then same thing when you go out, you can change things, you can change the speed, you can change the direction if you want it to uh, swing to the, it swings to the bottom but you can choose for it to swing to the top, like if it's leaving, or to the left, or to the right. Again, you can play around with things. So there's definitely much more customization in the Camtasia 9, because we never had this kind of detail with customization before. So I'm just going to play for you guys the behavior that we've just added to show you what it looks like. Well, Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm going to be doing an update on some products. All right, so when you add these properly to your videos, it really adds a neat effect, and I think it looks really cool. So I've been using that specific text box um, with different colors, mainly like purple and white because it goes with our logo and stuff. Um, but when you add the behavior on it, it just it makes it look like a cool animation and it really adds to the video. All right, guys, well, that is it for this video. That is how you use behaviors in Camtasia 9. If you liked this video, please let us know by giving us a like, a comment, a subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you like this video, there are more Camtasia 9 tutorials in the description below. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Back from the dead.